Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another video for you today. It is Wednesday. <laughs> Almost said Thursday. It's Wednesday. We have the last two days of sales to start pulling for you. Kathy's going to show you guys what has sold for us over those last two days. Hi. I'm standing right here so I could easily get to BK. Oh, you were prepared. And not make it weird because you always walk toward me when I'm trying to get you to walk that way. Let's make it less weird by talking about it for five minutes. Right. <laughs> How are you doing today? Who, me? Yeah. Oh, fine. <laughs> Not bad. Good. I guess that's good. Uh, sold some Heelys. Nice. These actually were free to us from our viewers, Sue. And they sold on Mercari for 23 plus shipping. So awesome. thanks again, Sue. I feel like... The last three or yeah. four days, well, the last three or four videos so in a row. Half of the ones you've sent yeah. already sold. Sue, so. thank you so much for sending us that awesome box. Yeah. We do appreciate that. They're selling like hotcakes. They are. Uh, those are going UPS, so I will find a box afterwards in the closet. All right, CZ. So this little kid, Vineyard Vines pullover. This was my son's. I don't remember what I bought it for. Probably somewhere 15 to $20. But I sold it for $14.95 plus shipping, and it does even have a hole in the arm and a stain, which were both disclosed and still sold in one day for $15. So Sweet. Very happy with that. I don't know if we're going to make it. No? How many days you got? It is the 26th <laughs> I know. I know, but today. most of our stuff doesn't go in, like, mailers mm. lately. This is still, like, 30 or something, so. Yeah. We'll see. 30, that's, a, that's no possible. I peeps are going to be getting them, too. <laughs> Actually, you'll see the next sale is the same thing but in a different color. These were my personal North Face fleeces that I wore like all last winter. I have three of them because they're my favorite and I had like a bunch of different colors. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I bought myself a new Patagonia, which was $120. So I sold these two to hopefully pay for it and justifying it a little bit in your yeah. head. <laughs> so this one. I did sell for $60 plus shipping and sold in one day on Mercari. Um, I bought it off Mercari last year for $48.89. So made back all my money that I bought it for, plus like three, four extra dollars. Awesome. So that was cool. You didn't sell them because they were getting too big on you or anything, right? Well, they are I'm getting just too kidding. Big <laughs> I know you didn't want to say that, but <laughs> too modest. You're going to see a lot of my clothes being sold. <laughs> That's kind awesome. Of a nice feeling. Yeah. Just to like, but it's also cool that like I get money back and now I can buy the yeah. new stuff instead of just like, oh, I have to go spend a couple hundred dollars on new stuff. Right. This is kind of just like trading out old for new with Absolutely. a little bit of work. The benefit of reselling yeah. or one of them. <laughs> Yeah, so if, I know a lot of you guys that watch are already resellers, but yeah. if you're just watching for funsies, you could literally just go put yeah. stuff out of your closet and start selling it today. Yeah. Poshmark, super easy. It doesn't have to become a thing. <laughs> you could just make a few extra yeah. bucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is the other one. Um, these are, this one I also bought off Mercari for forty-eight thirty-five. Funny that they were both about $48 hmm. and also sold for 60 So these sold to two separate people. They both offered 60 I accepted. So yeah. Sweet. That, what is that? 60. I probably make. So that almost paid for my Patagonia. Hey. Plus the Patagonia once it once I'm able to sell it next year or whenever I decide I don't like it anymore. Right. It's like a cute patterned floral one. So it'll usually sell for about retail, sometimes even more. Gotcha. Because Patagonia people like certain prints and they'll pay for them. So, so these Birkenstocks. These are the Dundee boots. I've sold them one or two other times. They usually sell around $100. No exception here. They sold for $99 plus shipping. That was an offer I had sent out. They had a ton of watches right away. I did pay $25 for them, but still like a $50 profit there. Sweet. Uh, yeah, this is gonna go in a shoebox. Oh, I was hoping a Halloween mailer. <laughs> Not for a $100 Birkenstocks. <laughs> 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 I don't think I can fit these in Halloween mailers. So. Yeah, these are going UPS. I don't know if I'm going to do a box or a bigger mailer. All right, A, G. Sketchers flip flops. Bought for $3.99, sold for $17.97 plus ship. And these can go in a mailer. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Uh, viewer sale going out to Zach. Awesome. Again, I know. Zach. Zach, you're so nice. <laughs> uh, let's see. Two items. Okay. Got 
a Disney villains um, 10k run tee. I got this from whatnot from Drew at Profit Monster. <laughs> I think he bought times. another one of those. He bought that orange yeah, one. he bought a few, and I think he also bought the Big Bad Wolf one, although I don't think we did a video that day. Pretty much all the ones I bought from oh. Duke. I did wear them <laughs> over the summer, and then now I'm just ready to let them go. So, yeah, I think he's bought all of Sweet. those. Thank you, Zach. And then a LuLaRoe um, hoodie. Awesome. So that was also mine. I had about twenty eight seventy four into the two items. Zach bought them for thirty nine ninety plus shipping. So Zach, thank you so much for all the amazing and continued support. <laughs> Yes. Probably the biggest support of the channel nowadays. Yeah. Except for this guy. <laughs> I was just watching a TikTok before we started of a lab that looks just like Reese. Yeah. And it said he was 18 years old. I was like, wow, oh. maybe we do have some more time with Reese. You guys still? Oh, I'm not going to. He's licking himself. <laughs> not going to live 18 years that way, dude. <laughs> yeah. Timberland boots, bought for fourteen dollars, sold for fifty dollars on Poshmark. Those, Sweet. I think we'll do a regional B box. Okay, B W. This guy is the shiny. Uh, just a women's Nike shirt. I pretty much only grabbed this because it was like on a half off day at a thrift and it was only $3.50 and I sold it for $18 plus ship. So okay. about a $10 profit. I think that's great. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. So CA Sketchers. Some Sketchers bought for $9.99, accepted a $30 offer on Poshmark. Not bad. Yeah. Medium flat rate box. Okay, AH. You done now, Reese? <laughs> you done? <laughs> Another one of my son's older shirts, uh, Zara, like a corduroy button down. Bought for 10 off a of kid is in like last year, and then I sold it for 15 free shipping, so I'm making back eight something on that. Sweet. Dressing ourselves and our kids for free. <laughs> Actually, I do think I made, like all the stuff that you'll see that's our personal items today, I lost a couple bucks on a few, but made more than a couple of bucks on others. So, so generally just broke, o yeah. broke over, broke even on them all. <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty cool. All right. It makes me feel better about buying something for myself and stuff too. Like sometimes yeah. I'm like, do I need that? No, but I can sell it after, <laughs> assuming I don't ruin it. Or like you said, sell, sell, two other things to kind of help pay for it so if it's something you really want yeah these were also mine <laughs> uh, this is something i like to do i just like to get a new pair of like winter boots every year so mm -hmm. like these are the ones i bought last year i bought them off like the local neighborhood page for 45 just like a porch pickup and i did wear them and now someone offered me 59 on posh so i make back i think 47 so all my money got yeah. to wear them pretty cool sweet now i i already bought myself another pair this year actually for about 50 bucks. Like so how many times did you use them last year? Because you hate the snow. <laughs> I know. I mean, those I would wear just when it was cold even. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I probably wore them a good amount. Yeah. Ten, ten whole ten times. Ten times. <laughs> hey. yeah. Ten uses for basically free. Yep. <laughs> bucks and... I remember wearing them last Halloween while we were trick-or-treating and then my feet were actually getting a little too toasty. Oh. <laughs> It's funny, I've lived in Colorado most of my life and I've never really had winter boots aside from when I was like a kid. You but still wear your flip flops I, out of the snow. He's like <laughs> scraping the windows off with this flip flops. So. Hey. I, I like the cold. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? So it's a little baby Crocs rain boots for $29 on Poshmark. I bought them for $5.99. Those will do a little regional A box. What is, what is that? Do you like the smell of stinky shoes? All right, <laughs> we are. I don't know what you think's going on, Reese. You gonna help us pack them up? This is the brand John Lewis, which I've only ever sold. Well, I guess this is technically close. Is a scarf close? This is accessory. Scarf. Yeah. 
I've sold some shirts of John Lewis before, um, but this is a cashmere scarf that I found. New at Tag for $4.99. Sold it for $28 with discount shipping on Posh. Sweet. So I think I'll do that and just like one of these guys. Tyvek Mailer. Okay, BX. Oh, I was very glad this sold. Seems like a lot has gone off of this wall today, too. Yeah. Um, so this I kind of bought last year just based on style, not brand. I never even heard of the brand. This is the brand. I don't know how you say that. <laughs> but it was like a nice yeah. wool blend. Venario or something? Aztec. Boop. <laughs> Throwing stuff. <laughs> Aztec jacket thing. So, I don't know. It's a cute, it was a cute style. So I gave it a shot. Didn't sell. Finally sold for $14 plus ship, but I bought it for uh, $5.99. So I'm making like $5 profit after a year. That's okay. Yeah. Um, that's, oh, it was, this is going to Utah, so it was cheaper actually to just do a, a box. Yeah, or just any. Cheaper than a pad of flat rate, so I could still put it in my own mailer or whatnot. Reese, can you go lay down? I know. Go lay in your bed. You're going to get stepped on on accident, <laughs> bud. Later. Another pair of Timberland. This pair sold for $35 on Posh. I bought for $9.99. Do a regional B on that one. I thought my watch vibrated. I was like, oh, did I get a <laughs> no. False alarm. <laughs> Box A. This was a good sale. This is a nice Pendleton sweater Bought last year. It took forever to sell, I don't know why. I did have it priced kind of high. And I actually got into our 50% off sale, I think, mm. which brought it down to like $40. And I was like, I think it's worth a little more than 40. I think I originally had it at 80, so yeah. Um, I put it back up for 59.95, knowing throughout the winter it'll go 10% per yeah. month. And I was like, if it doesn't sell by the end of the winter, mm -hmm. I guess it's not worth more than 30 or 40. But yeah, it sold pretty quickly after I put it back up for fifty nine ninety five plus shipping. So I guess that's about what it was worth. I feel like that's happened a few times in the last couple yeah, days where so. you've taken something out of the sale, yeah. kind of relisted, <laughs> or yeah. If it's season appropriate, I've been doing that, and thankfully it's going to Alaska, so thankfully it does fit in here. Otherwise, it would have been kind of oh yeah, pricey. BP. Sometimes a, a listing just needs to be relisted for yeah. whatever reason, you know. Yeah. Kind of gives it a new life. Um, some men's Under Armour like track pants. These I bought for three dollars. They did end up having some flaws, um, so they took a while to sell. Finally got them sold for twelve forty eight plus ship. But I still made like seven dollars, so I think that's pretty good for some flawed pants. Yeah. All right. And lastly, CT. Get out of your way. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the death stare. Yeah. <laughs> All right, some cool, colorful pattern dance go. I did pay up for these at $17.99. They were in really good shape and just the cool pattern. I was like, I can probably get around $50 for them. I ended up sending an offer for $47 plus shipping, so about close to $50. Yeah. It's still about a $25 profit, even on an $18 buy, so I, I mean, I think that's worth it. I know a lot of people don't think dance goes. Sell that well. I probably would not have picked up a basic black pair for 18. Right. I usually try to stay around 10 or so. Um, but yeah, if you buy stuff on style, sometimes it can do well. Yeah. And sometimes, like that Aztec jacket, it does it. So. <laughs> sometimes it doesn't. Well, let's say, let's get these things packed up. All right. Got them all packed up. No thanks to that. You have been sleeping the whole Stop. time. Maybe it's my snap. Did my snap wake yes, you up? Yes, it did. He got shot. It's funny. Sometimes when I do the first snap, he'll like get all up and excited. <laughs> like we're going to go do something. Soon, Baba. We're almost <laughs> done for the day. Yeah. yeah. You're a good boy. He's a good boy. We did not have any more sales come through. Yep. But we did. Uh, I did look up for a few questions through our comments. And Kathy's got them on her handy dandy <laughs> Telephone? Phone? <laughs> Notebook? Does anyone say telephone anymore? Telephone? <laughs> well, I, mean, I don't it's know. It's still a telephone. Right? A cellular device? <laughs> All right. Smartphone? So we've got a few questions we're going to go through real quick. Yeah, so Sonia is asking, if you search and the item you're going to sell only has about 10 or 20 listings, is it really worth paying to promote? I think it's up to you. Yeah, it's, <laughs> so it's to up me, to you. 
I just, I don't go and look how many items are listed or sold or anything, so I wouldn't, first off, even know that. But secondly, right. I just think I'd rather mine sell faster than someone else's mm -hmm. just because it showed up first, even if they only have that much. So, and since I only do 3%, I'm usually in no more than like a dollar or so in a promoted fee, which to me, if it sells even a day faster, was worth it. Right. So... So it depends, yeah, right? I think it just depends if you're trying to make more profit. I also yeah. like know that I'm promoting stuff, so when I price stuff, I kind of think of putting an extra dollar or two on there just for that and price yeah. drops, things like that. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like most of our answers are always like, eh, whatever you want. <laughs> do whatever you want. <laughs> right. I mean, we, we do the 3% kind of across the board. Um, but we also don't sell like one of a kind things. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if we were in a more, um, like I was thinking of a Patagonia fleece, yeah. those usually sell in a day or two after you list them, if you price them right. Yeah. So you don't need to promote it, but right. I still do. I still want mine to show up before other people's that don't promote at all. Right. And your sourcing strategy kind of makes it so that you're finding stuff that a lot of people are looking for anyway. So I, I don't think it's necessary to promote if mm -hmm. you only have five maybe yeah. un other available at listings on eBay that they could choose from. They're all going to be right in their vision anyway when it searches. Um, but I don't know. I guess it, it could mm -hmm. be that extra if nobody's promoting, right? Yeah, and I think maybe just that it says sponsored might yeah. make a person feel more comfortable buying from that. Like right. They, if like it's a more a, legit store yeah. kind of if thing. If they're just a shopper, they might not know what that means. They might think, oh, that's, yeah, like a legit store. Like yeah. you feel more comfortable on Amazon if you see more reviews versus yeah. less reviews. So, so yeah, uh, it's up to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Next question. Oh, this is funny. It's another Sonia, but it's not the same oh, I name. So. <laughs> I didn't notice that when I was screen capturing her. Uh, so this Sonia is asks, or saying, enjoy your videos. Where do you get the cardboard boxes that you store your items in? Can't find it in your supply list. Yeah. So I think this is more of a me question because yeah. <laughs> I sourced all these. You're talking our banker, yeah. banker's boxes. That's the, the brand. And I don't have a list or a link on our videos because we got them at Walmart. And I think that's probably the cheapest place aside from, you might be able to get like Office Max or Office Depot. I did search recently, um, Walmart, Walmart online has them for 20 bucks for a pack of 10 still. That's about what I paid a couple years ago. And um, the ones we do have is the standard duty. They're just the uh, model number 799. Um, I think the heavier duty ones are probably about double. So what, it's like 20 bucks for 10, so like $2 a box, and f maybe $4 if you wanted a little bit more of a sturdy box. But I, I don't know, I feel like we, we've kind of put a lot of stuff in ours, and we're, we haven't really replaced any boxes yet, so yeah. yeah I mean, there are some longer box, ones. Yeah, just like whatever you get, make sure it works on whatever shelves or yeah. something that you have, because there's so many different variations, but yeah. yeah, you can get them at a lot of places. Right. So. I think Dave NC Picker got some that are a little bit longer or deeper to kind of fit his shelf better. I did build these shelves the with boxes. the boxes in mind, right? I bought the boxes first and then I built the shelves to fit our weird, we have like these gable roof, I don't know, whatever that is, <laughs> some angled ceilings up there. So our shelves are only uh, six feet tall and in order to be able to fit five of the boxes with some space in between I kind of had to build custom um, or it was just the easier option for me at the time so I don't think I would do custom shelves again if we were doing it today I'd probably do something that I could refer to people because I do get that question a lot and um, it's a lot easier just to, <laughs> to buy a shelf and build it it yeah. took me I don't know a week and a whole day to bring one of them up <laughs> <laughs> so I don't recommend that anymore. I would definitely buy a shelf that fits your space and can fit the boxes. So, all right. And then Dina, um, so I'm, I think this says, how long have you been selling? It looks yeah, like it might've auto I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> so, um, how long have you been selling? I'm assuming that's what you're mm -hmm. asking. So if, if not ask it again in the next video, right, if right, you right. see this. So, um, and well, let me read the whole thing. How long have you been selling? Love your methods. You love the methods you have. Very nice and organized. I'd love some advice on how to get started. Okay. Uh, so how long have we been selling? Probably like You've six been or selling so years, a little bit. 
full time more like two to three yeah. years. I kind of came on board and did like the whole inventory changeover. That was my big Fourier into the reselling with Kathy thing. Um, that was January 2020. That was when I came on and kind of uh, fixed up all the inventory, consolidated it. Because I came from a background of doing inventory at a school district um, in the maintenance department. So, um, yeah, just kind of saw that I could really help her out there, got that going, and then started helping with other stuff. And then started the YouTube channel in <laughs> March. <laughs> so. so, yeah, that's about how But you started, I mean, you were like a hobby. You started before you knew there was YouTube reselling. Or that reselling was more than just like a, uh, yeah, like I didn't even know that reselling was a term, I guess. Right. I was just like, oh, I'm selling some old stuff on these sites. Like, yeah. I didn't know what that meant or anything. So we had our first son. She would buy him clothes and go try to buy you stuff to, you know, we... Like to buy better, nicer yeah, things. So. Buy nicer, you have more buying power. Yeah, when, um, even when people would like, you know, when you're a new mom, people love to give you stuff that they've yeah. already used. I was kind of picky with like, I just like certain styles and things. So I would take those clothes, take them to things like Once Upon a Child, yeah. sell them and then pick out a few things I would rather just my kid and yeah. stuff like that. And then if they didn't take stuff, I was like, oh, I'll just put it online, I guess. Right. So it's kind of that. And then, yeah, um, kind of one thing led to another. You started doing more adult stuff and got into shoes. That's kind of what you're really liking to sell nowadays. Um, but yeah, new tips. What, what were tips for new sellers? Started. Well. I'd say before we started, we didn't really know what sell-through rate was. Yeah. And I think that it, if we knew that back then, it would have helped it's a funny, lot. because you're saying that, but then I was going to say start on Posh because it's so simple, which there's no real way to check sell-through sell -through on rate posh. on Posh. I mean, I would check eBay's. Yeah. Like, so when we say sell-through rate, <laughs> why don't you give a quick... I'm trying to think. Um, I just found these jeans yesterday. Let me try to... So here's a quick example. So it, it, it differs, right? Like a lot of people have different ways of defining sell-through rate. Um, so this was just a pair of jeans I found at the thrift. I was like, mm, they look like a decent pair. Let me see. I've never heard of the brand. So I looked them up. They're called the Revtown Automatic Jeans. And I put men's. So I guess I'm already filtered to sold. So there's 33 solds. I didn't, you know, do size or anything. Just in right. general. There are 22 listed. 22 so listed, 33 sold. There's more sold than listed in the last 90 days. That's some. That's what you want to see. So right. over 100% sell through. So what you would do mathematically is divide the sold by the available, right? So 33 divided by 22. Yeah. So 150 percent. So you move the decimal two points, two places for the percentage, and yeah, that's 150 percent right. sell through rate. And that's a very general. Like yeah. we don't need to know if it's more or less than that. That's what we kind of consider our sell through. Even rate. if I saw there was 20 listed and 15 sold, I'm like, yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah, I might grab it still. But yeah, if you can go at least 100 percent or more, yeah. then the chances that it sells in like the first month even are pretty high. Yeah. So, um, and you can break it down even further if it's, you know, obviously Converse shoes is going to have one sell through rate, but a specific model of Converse shoe <laughs> or even a size right, in that the model. The hidden wedges sell for a lot more yeah. and a lot. The sell through is probably over 100% versus the, these pink ones I just got are probably have a low sell through, so I'm yeah. going to have to price them more competitively. Stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but I was thinking other tips are just. We didn't really start inventory. with an inventory system. This is how I did my inventory to begin with. I just uh, put everything in a bin yeah. like this, not even folded, not in any sort of bags. And then not even like with label on the side, I was just like, oh, I sold something. And then I'd have to like dump the whole bin out and find the one thing I sold. <laughs> we did move to like a time. hanger system from there. Like so. sometimes now I would have, like that would take me to ship two sales more time than it takes us to ship all these sales yeah. now. So yeah. Have an inventory system, whatever that looks like for you. You might only have a couple a uh, shelf in your closet. So yeah. whatever you can do. And make sure you get your bookkeeping yes. down. You have to pay taxes yes. on any profit. So even the dollar you I know the threshold is like 600 but technically it's a dollar. Yes. <laughs> like any yeah. or a penny. <laughs> You're technically liable for every dollar that you are profiting. Yeah. So, And that's not gross profit. Obviously, if you spent $5 and you sold it for $15, you subtract that $5 from the 15 you subtract your fees, whatever you are actually pocketing after that. So just make sure you keep good records of that. We do have a free spreadsheet down below <laughs> to help you with that, get started. Um, and yeah, I think... Uh, inventory control is a big one. It kind of helped us um, 
be able to do more. Go to the next level for yeah. sure. Yeah, like, because, like he said, in January 2020, he built this stuff. Before that, I was making a decent amount of money per day, but I wouldn't call that a full-time right. living. Now I would call And how many listings did you have back money. then, probably? Like, I think I had about the same. Did just, you? Okay. I think I had around 1,000, but it wasn't as... I don't know, as thoughtful as it is now. It was just, oh, I've got a box of random things. I'm just going to list it. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Another thing is, I would say get a scale. Cause definitely you, get a definitely scale. Definitely need a scale. Um, this one just came from Amazon. It was like $15. Probably went up to like $20 by now. Right. If you don't weigh your item, like if you don't know how much something weighs, you're going to either under or overcharge. And yeah. if you're overcharging, people are not going to buy. If you're undercharging, you're going to lose get, money. Get charges yeah. for yourself. So. Um, definitely get a scale. If you're just doing like Poshmark, you can use all just the free stuff from the post office that you can order online. Yeah. Um, otherwise, you know, if you're just, it's hard because those are all priority mail. So I guess you have to learn the difference between priority and first class mail. Yeah. So then we use poly mailers for first class mail. And we do have codes for various things in our description for like, well, these were magical mailers, but I do have a shipping hip code. Yeah. Sometimes we buy stuff from Amazon. So those are what we use for first class shipping mostly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just, I, I would say like, make sure you have boxes or mailers before you list stuff because then if it sells, yeah. I feel like I started listing and I was like, oh, I made a sale. I, I guess I didn't think nothing was going right. to sell because I didn't have anything to ship it. Right. And then if you're like in a pinch, you have to go to Walmart, buy a box. It's like two, three dollars instead of those are free. Those are yeah. 25 cents. Yeah, mailer. you definitely want to know what you're going to be shipping something in before you sell it, <laughs> right. before you list it even. Yeah. And Kathy even thinks about that before she even buys it, right? So <laughs> yeah. you don't want to buy a big, fragile, right. you know, one-of-a-kind <laughs> glass art piece if you don't know how to ship it because yeah. you're like, oh, it's only 20 bucks, <laughs> but it's going to cost $500 to ship or what, you know, so. So other than that, I would probably just say, like we mentioned earlier in the video, find some stuff around your house just get the yeah. hang of it even before you go out and spend real money yeah start with your own stuff. stuff and yeah yeah cool Excited. any other <laughs> yeah. final tips um no, tipped out? anyone watching should leave some tips yeah though, yeah guys a lot of people read the comments so. yeah Leave some awesome <laughs> tips down in the comments. That, that would be really awesome. I do have one more tip. Okay. It is very easy to get carried away in the sourcing side of reselling. Um, my tip would be to make sure you're listing what you're actually sourcing. Don't source too much, right? Start small. Um, don't scale it up too much until you're ready because there's a lot of death piles around that are, we even, I don't know, we probably have something around here. I know I've got stuff down in the garage that I've sourced. <laughs> And I don't know when we're going to list it because yeah. Kathy's not interested in it. And I thought it was cool. And the comps have changed by now. There's probably less interest. Maybe there's more interest. I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> so um, definitely source within your means, I guess. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to end it with that one, guys. Thank you so much for the awesome questions. Thanks for all of the amazing support today. We do appreciate it. And last of all, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.